even if I look crazy, even if I look silly, even if I look cringe, I'm going to post the content. I'm going to be exactly who I want to be. And you may not be a content creator, but just insert yourself in that. Even if you look crazy, even if you look cringe, even if people talk about you, you have to be yourself. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Romani. A recurring theme that I notice in everyone's life is we're never authentically ourselves. We're never showing up as who we truly are. Well, I don't mean never, but not all the time. Like you may second guess yourself before showing up as your true authentic self. And if you've done that before, I know that I have, but if you've done that before, I really want you to take a minute and think about all the things that you have missed out on by not being yourself. All the opportunities that you've missed out on, all the raises, all the promotions, all of the friendships, all of the love, all of the abundance that you've missed out on by not truly being who you are to the core. I really want you to hear me when I say that 2024 truly, truly has the power to be the best year of your life thus far, but it is only gonna happen if you are truly yourself. Like if you are yourself in every single room that you show up in no matter what. We live in a world and in a society that rewards us for being like everybody else and for assimilating into the culture, but just truly think about every successful person that you've ever seen in life they were all outliers they were all not like the rest of the crowd if they would have been like the rest of the crowd they would have been doing what everybody else did and they would have gotten what everybody else got and they would have been living the life that everybody else is living and the average person is living an average life everybody's not going to be a millionaire everybody's not going to be Beyonce everybody's not going to be a Megan Thee Stallion you know everybody's not going to be that what word am I thinking about like everybody's just not going to you know what I'm trying to say like everybody's not going to be that person but the people who are those people they stood out they weren't like everybody else but since we live in a society that so badly wants us all to be one person they want us to talk the same they want us to look the same to dress the same because it's easier for them to control us but that's a whole nother story for another day but because we live in a society like that that it sometimes may seem difficult for you to be yourself. And I know that that may sound like a weird concept, like, oh, it's not weird for me to be myself, but like, I want you to truly think, are you always yourself? Do you say the things that you wanna say? Do you act the way that you wanna act? Do you laugh at the things that you wanna laugh at? Or do you tone yourself down to fit into a group? And I'm not necessarily talking about an actual group, but I'm just talking about society as a whole. If you watched my previous video, Video, then you know that I am changing my life in 2024 like the 365 days that we get in 2024 I'm using all of them to change my life and truly live the life of my dreams and I'm not stopping and if you haven't watched that video I will link it on the screen and I'll link it down below but since I decided that I was going to do that I really had to be honest with myself and think about what are some things that are holding me back and something that was holding me back is not truly being myself now I'm myself in person all the time, but when I am thinking about my success, one of the things that I do is content creation. And sometimes I'm not always myself. Now on YouTube, I'm always myself. But when it comes to Instagram and just like even promoting my YouTube channel, I feel weird about it. It makes me feel awkward. It doesn't matter how many followers I have or how much my platforms continue to grow. I always second guess myself before I like self promote on the apps. If I have a new YouTube video, I'm so hesitant to post about it. And I'm sharing this because I want you to realize that I also have um, struggled with this and I figured out how I'm not going to struggle with it. So I'm basically going to be helping you not struggle with it either. But I struggled with that and I'm always like, oh, like I don't wanna post my YouTube videos. And I, I still posted them, but I did it begrudgingly. Like I was like, oh, this is so crazy but this year I'm doing it and I'm like I don't care I don't care there's no reason for me to be afraid to self-promote there is no reason for me to be afraid to show who I am and what I do I don't care I would post my stuff like all the time but I did it like 
like I did it afraid this year I'm just not doing anything afraid I'm doing things and I don't care about the outcome and I don't care about the perception of it I'm dropping the fear of perception even if I look crazy even if I look silly even if I look cringe I'm going to post the content I'm going to be exactly who I want to be and you may not be a content creator but just insert yourself in that even if you look crazy even if you look cringe even if people talk about you you have to be yourself on and off the internet i'm gonna give you three tips and every time you find yourself not being true to who you are i want you to remember these three tips so you may need to open your notes app or you may need to get a piece of paper and write this down but i really want you to like really resonate with this information and take it in and use it in your everyday life because it's going to change your life if you can be yourself all the time. The first thing that I want you to think about is why you care. Why are you feeling like you cannot be yourself? And I really want you to think about it and break this down. Am I not being myself because I am fearful? What are you fearful about? Is it the fact that people may talk about you? Once you have that reasoning for why you're fearful, I want you to ask yourself why. Really think about this and don't shame yourself either if it's like something that you deem a small reason like, oh, like why do I care about people talking about me? We're humans, you know, we want to be liked and it's completely natural if you're afraid of people's perception of you because society wants you to be afraid of people's perception of you so that you can be assimilated to the masses so like you're doing exactly what society has programmed you to do so don't think that it's weird if you care about what people think about you but I truly want you to think about why am I fearful about this and maybe it's not what people are going to think about you but I really want you to think about why you care because there is a certain reason that you feel like you cannot be yourself it's because you care about something once you have the reason that you care and why you care I want you to think about the worst thing that could happen what is the worst possible thing that could happen if you are yourself we're just gonna go back to the example of people talking about you what is the worst thing that could happen if somebody talks about you really think about it nothing nothing is going to change if people talk about you because people are already talking about you without you being yourself people are going to talk about you until the day that you die so if people are already going to talk about you why would you change anything up why would you be any different they're gonna talk anyway and the worst thing that can happen from them talking is just them talking you are still going to be alive you're still going to live the life that is destined for you even if people talk about you i want you to see how minuscule it is i know that it may feel like such a big thing oh i don't want to be perceived by people really think about how much time you spend thinking about somebody else you probably spend all of your time thinking about yourself it is the same thing for other people and that's the that's the thing that I have to remind myself nobody's thinking about you yes you might be watching this video and you might be enjoying it you're not going to be thinking about me 10 minutes after you watch this video I mean you might uh, you're like typically you're not going to be thinking about me after this video until I pop up again nobody's sitting at home thinking about you and if they do then the people crazy like <laughs> it doesn't matter anyway and after you think of the worst thing that can happen I want you to think of the best thing that can happen I want you to think of the best outcome that can happen to you from you just being yourself what are you attracting in this best case scenario you're probably attracting everything that is destined for you because the things that are supposed to come into your life cannot come into your life if you are not you there are certain things that are destined just for you but if you follow the path that everybody else follows you're never gonna get it you're not gonna get it because you as a person are being pushed to do certain things so that you can receive certain things you're being pushed to go down a certain path because you're supposed to receive things on that certain path for example everybody's going to let's say medical school and you're supposed to be a race car driver let's say there's so much abundance and everything you've ever wanted is on this race car path of course you can't see it because it's in the future and you end up going to medical school instead medical school was not for you everything that you didn't want started to attract itself to you it's because you're on the wrong path you're following everybody else and you can't get the blessings that are meant for you that was such an amazing example and I <laughs> I can't I honestly feel like that example gave you everything that you needed but I will continue you have to go down the path that 
is for you. You have to get the things that are meant for you and you cannot do that when you are not being your true self. So in every situation, I really want you to think about those three things. Why do I care? What is the worst thing that can happen? What is the best thing that can happen? The best thing is always going to outweigh the worst thing. And I really want you to start thinking in a best case scenario type of mindset. People always go to the worst case scenario. Let's say you are about to go hiking and somebody's like, oh my God, you could get mauled by a bear. But I could also hike up this mountain and I could meet Jeff Bezos and he could give me a million dollars. Like you just never know what's going to happen in your life. Don't think of the worst case scenario. When you think of bad things, bad things are going to attract themselves to you. When you think of that best case scenario, no matter what is going on in your life, your mind is going to automatically find the good in every situation. You have to find the good in every situation, even if they are bad. I keep saying this, but 2024 is our year 2024 is the year that we glow up it's the year that we change our lives but we can only do that if we are ourselves i know that you have all of these goals the goals and all the abundance that you want in your life is meant for you and you only you cannot get it trying to be everybody else so you need to stop trying to be everybody else stop trying to be liked. stop trying to be um validated by everybody and truly validate yourself Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you really enjoyed it. I'm going to leave everything that you need down below and I will see you in my next video.